LT Spice makes determining the operating point of a circuit very easy. And while it is the simplest spice analysis you can do, it is an important first step in understanding your circuit. In this video, we're going to analyze this very simple circuit, just so you understand the process of setting up the analysis. But the same process could be done on circuits like this one. So let's fire up LT Spice and see how this dot op operation is done. So here's a blank LT Spice window and I am going to create a new schematic. I only need two, well actually three components in the circuit. First one that I need is a voltage source. So I'll click on the component button, bring up the voltage source, drop it there, hit escape to get rid of that. I'll go over to the resistor button, drop it there, hit escape to get rid of that. The last component that I need is the reference point. And I always need a reference point in a spice simulation so that spice knows what everything is measured relative to. Now let's go up to the pencil to start drawing some wires to make all of these connections. So I've got all the components placed. Next thing I need to do is change the component values. If I left click on the V, I can change the value here. Remember we want a 10 volt source. I can go over and right click on the R and remember we want a five ohm resistor. Now my circuit's set up. The next thing I need to do is set it up for simulation. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says .op and that's actually the spice directive we're going to use. Click on that. I'm just gonna type in .op. This, here I can enter any of the spice directives. This could be a transient analysis. It could be an AC analysis. It could be a DC analysis. Here I'm only doing the operating point analysis. So I just need the .op. Click okay drop the instruction down anywhere, and now we're ready to go. Hit the run button over here, and that's it. So you see I have a voltage at node 001 of 10 volts. I have a current through R1 of two amps, and I have a current through V1 of negative two amps. There's only one current in this circuit, and it's the current that goes in this clockwise direction through the resistor and then back to the voltage source. And the reason we have a two and a negative two is just because of the way that current is defined as flowing. It's always defined as flowing into the positive terminal of a device. So on R1, the positive terminal of the device is right here. So current is actually flowing into the positive terminal. Whereas over on the voltage source, current is flowing into the negative terminal. Since current is defined as flowing into a positive terminal of a device, current is actually flowing in the opposite direction of how it's defined, and that's why we get a negative number. Now there's one more thing that I could have done to make this a little bit easier to understand what's going on. Like what if you didn't know what this particular node was? There's really only one node to measure in this circuit, so it's pretty obvious what node 001 is. But what I could do is place a label, and let's just call this my voltage, and drop it on the node that I want to label, and rerun the simulation. And now the voltage of my voltage is 10 volts. And that just made it a little bit more clear about which voltage we're talking about. In this particular case, there's only one, so there was no confusion. But if you had a number of different ones and you wanted to know which particular voltage you were talking about, just drop some labels on all the nodes that you want to measure. So LT Spice makes it very simple to figure out the operating point of your circuit. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click on the like button. And if you want to keep getting more videos like this, please subscribe. I also have a website with a whole bunch more material, including free open source textbooks. So check out the links in the video description below to see all the things. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. And remember to stay sharp, but have fun.